Привет, друзья! Как дела? My name is Fedor, and today we're going to be talking about how to pick up a Russian girl or a guy. But before we start, I want to say that shirts finally arrived. You can see that I'm wearing a Bifluence shirt that says Danet Naverneya. You can find them all, you can find different designs in the description box down below to check them out and see which ones you like the most. Now we're going to continue with, with the lesson. So, pick up a Russian girl or a guy. This is not a dating advice. I'm not going to tell you how to act. I'm going to only give you the language. This is a channel called Be Fluent in Russian. So I'm only going to give you the language, um, the language things about, uh, about this topic. So, since that's clear, let's move on to the actual, you know, vocabulary. First thing that I want to say is that whenever you come up to a person to get acquainted with them, and by the way, this, this can be used not only for pickup, it, it can be used for getting acquainted with anybody. If, it, if you're just like a friend of a friend or whatever, it doesn't have to be used for pickup purposes, okay? So, you can use this in your everyday life as well. So, when you come up to a person, to a guy or girl, you should always re refer to them as вы. You know, in Russian, we have ты for you and вы for you. Вы is kind of like for plural, for being more respectful, for talking with strangers or people of respect. Okay, so when you talk to a new person that you don't, don't know yet, it's always safe to refer to them as вы. And you show your manners, if you say ты, it, it just gonna come across as being very rude and inconsiderate. So use we. And then when you come up to a person, you should always apologize. You know, it's uh, you're disturbing them. They're in their own zone. You're coming into their space. So you should always excuse yourself. And you can use прошу прощения or извините for that. And they both mean kind of like, like excuse me or I'm sorry. Okay? So once you came up and said, прошу прощения, I'm sorry, or excuse me, and then you should, you know, refer to them somehow, or address them somehow. You can use девушка for a lady, or молодой человек for a guy. So, прошу прощения, девушка, excuse me, young lady, or прошу прощения, молодой человек, excuse me, young man. In English, young man has that negative you know, emotion to it, but in Russian, it's, it's the best way of addressing a guy from like 16 years old, even to maybe like 50. So use молодой человек for a guy. So you came up and say, прошу прощения, девушка. And now I'm going to talk about all the phrases that you can use uh, for you to start the conversation going, okay? Get the conversation going. Uh, so the first one is, вы очень красивая, which means you're very beautiful. For a guy, you can say, вы очень красивый, okay? Um, kind of like, you know, starting that process of, of, of picking up uh, somebody, вы очень красивый or красивая, can be used a lot. You can also say, вы очень привлекательна, привлекательна, which means you're very attractive. Or you can say, uh, you look very good, вы очень хорошо выглядите. Выглядите means to look or to appear, and хорошо means good. So you look good. Then you can also say, можно с вами познакомиться. Can I get acquainted with you? Можно с вами познакомиться. Um, or another way of, of trying to get their name is you can say, меня зовут Федор. А вас как? My name is Fedor. And what yours is? Of course, don't say Fyodor because it's my name. Use your own name. So, меня зовут whatever, а вас как? So, and what's your name? You're trying to find their name. Another uh, kind of like a next step is to get a number. Uh, <laughs> so, you ask, можно ваш номер телефона? Можно means can I have? Ваш means yours or your. Номер телефона, phone number. So, можно ваш номер телефона? Another phrase that you can use when you kind of like already get into the conversation when you're talking about something is давайте перейдем на ты, which means let's switch to ты. So, as I said before, вы is more like respectful way, but ты is when you know a person. So, when you ask them, let's switch to ты, which means like... Uh, Let's, 
let's switch to a more friendly way of talking, you know, a more relaxed way of talking. Because when you use T, you are becoming equals. You don't have to put that facade of like kind of like fake respect for somebody because you know that they're, they're of your age. You know exactly why they're talking to you because they want to get, get, get to know you. So let's switch to T and kind of like relax already since we already know each other well. So, давайте перейдем на T means let's switch to T. And then, um, last phrase is a very cliche phrase and was used in the movies, in a, in a, in a series a lot. And it goes, поехали ко мне, which means let's go to my place, Let, let's go to, to me, to my house, to my place. Which all of us know exactly what it means and exactly the reason for it. Um, but I had to give this one to you because it's very popular, at least in the movies. I don't know how it goes in real life because I've never used it myself. I'm not the kind of guy. I'm not going to go to a bar or a club to get, uh, to get somebody. So I don't know how, you know, the actual phrases go. So I'm going to give you the one that's kind of like a cliche way of saying it. Okay. So... Поехали ко мне means let's go to my place. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for, for watching this video. I hope that this was helpful, not only for pickup lines, but also to get to know somebody or to get acquainted with somebody. And you can use that in your everyday life. Thank you for watching again. I'll see you in the comments. Пока-пока.